Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here next to a Bamboo Lab P2S. And today, we are going to look at Hytem 3D. A while back, I did a full tutorial on how to work with Hytem 3D to create a 3D model from a photograph. Hytem 3D loved that video and reached back out to me asking if I'd create a new video to show their newly updated, more advanced version of the service. They asked if I would go from an object to a photo to an actual 3D print. I thought that sounded really cool, and I know that my friends at Bamboo would love to see their printer used in project content like this. That said, Hytem wants to support the channel, Bamboo wants to support the channel, and I want to support the people that support me, them, and you. For once, let's do that without breaking things or needing to buy and assemble an expensive new toy. Let's use the toys we already have and do something fun. Being that it's December, Hytem 3D asked me if I would do Christmas themed items for this project. Let me see what I can find and we'll pop into it. This guy is 3D printed. Let's take pictures of him. Use Hytem 3D to turn him back into a model and then 3D print it. I will need pictures of the front, left, right, and back. Front, right, back, left. Now we'll import the pictures from this into Hytem 3D. Here we are in Hytem 3D. I am on Image to 3D, the new 1.5, and their highest quality commercial print ready method, 1536 Pro. I am going to use Image to 3D. This requires a single image. Let's drag our snowman from the iPhone 14 Pro using my black foam core bottom and generate. Let's start another one using multi view. First, I will bring in the front view, the back view, the left view, and the right view. 1536 Pro version 1.5 generate. All right, here is our snowman. Looks pretty accurate. Before doing anything additional, I am going to download him. I will choose STL and let's try the new beta retopology. And here is our result. You can see it's a lot smoother and some of the odd details that were here around the buttons and eyes have been removed. Let's go ahead and download that as well. You can also see it recreated the snowman accurately from only one photo. Let's open up Bamboo Studio and have a look at our models. Here is the first snowman. And here is the second one with retopology. Interesting that the orientation is correct on the retopology. Let's go ahead and resize this guy. Let's resize this guy. And let's stand them both up. There's a considerable size difference, despite resizing them the same percentage. However, none of that is relevant. Let's just have a look at the quality of the model. The model with the retopology is clearly superior, and I really like the texture it added. It actually looks more like a snowman and pieces of coal. Let's ditch the original one, and let's add some color to our snowman. Let's use the paint bucket and see if I can get it to differentiate between the parts. And I can. The nose is gonna be a bit of a problem, so we might want to use a different tool on the nose.
let's bring him back to a more reasonable size. And would you look at that? We've recreated the Blob Lab pumpkin. This is a 3D printed snowman that I turned back into a 3D model. However, what if this was great grandma's beloved childhood toy? That would be really cool. Of course, to save a ton of filament and time, we can clone this snowman, remove the painting, print him in single color, and then paint him ourselves. The print time went from 12 hours to one hour and four minutes. Let's pop back in to Hightum 3D and look at the multi-photo version. The multi-version has done a better job with the nose. However, I'm happy with everything else in the single photo version. Let's hit that retopology and see what happens. All right, the retopology has smoothed things out a bit, but we lost that detail in the nose. Having done a standard single photo, a standard multi-view, and retopology on both, I can comfortably say there's no black and white answer to which method is best. I really think it depends on the amount of information required on the side and back of your model. This snowman has very little going on, the side and the back of the model. Therefore, the single photo did a great job, and I'm probably going to work with that. The only detail that really got better with the multi-photo for the snowman is the nose but I'm not sure it's worth worrying about because I'm pretty happy with what I have here for the nose. Oh my God. They have a Christmas monster exchange party going on. We are so taking part in this. We have to go to this website and create a Christmas themed monster. Then use Hightum 3D to turn that image into a 3D model. Let's create our Christmas monster. Scary Christmas female duck. Generate. <laughs> duck, 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 duck. Here we can see it's processing our duck. We've got this little slider. I'm, the anticipation is killing me and there's my duck monster. Oh my God, it's adorable. Oh my God. I mean, I don't know if it's a duck monster, but I love it. Scary Christmas monster female duck and regenerate. Oh my God, these are awesome. What, what is that? <laughs> wow, um, okay. Now I've got some scary monster ducks. This is nightmare fuel. I'm gonna download this. This would be a really complicated multicolor print. Looking at these results, I don't see how the AI could determine what this duck is holding here. The other ducks that are not holding anything would probably have a better result. The AI only generated one single image, so we will use image to 3D. I'm going to try this duck, this duck, and this duck. I am doing all three in 1.5, 1536 Pro. While we are here, I'm gonna click in to history. I am going to open the single image and let's try generate texture. I went with the single reference image upload rather than the single reference image upload with retopology because generate texture is lost when you use retopology. Let's go ahead and apply generate texture. Okay. 
And here it is. It did really well. Unfortunately, Hytem does not offer 3MF downloading, which means I cannot download this file with the color information. I can only download it as a GLB, OBJ, STL, or FBX. These formats will be useful for some people, but not useful for 3D printing. Let's have a look at our duck. Oh my God. It's fantastic. Let's check out our other ducks. Pretty darn good. I mean, there's a lot more detail up front than here in the back. However, if this was, for example, one of those rubber ducks you put in your Jeep, this is exactly how it would look. Let's check out this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this, one, this nightmare fuel didn't really work out. Uh, the tail and the pom pom are fused. But uh, looking at it from the front, it's absolute nightmare fuel. I would love to try printing this guy. He looks fairly printable, or she. Let's go ahead and download it. I'll download it in OBJ. And I'll download it in STL. And while we're here, let's generate texture just for fun. Our texture duck is done and she looks awesome. It did a really good job. Let's import the duck. Let's fix his orientation and let's grow him a bit to give us an easier look. Fantastic. Multicolor printing on this duck would be an absolute nightmare but I do think we could survive a single color print if we gave him some tree supports. So I almost never do supports on the model itself. I almost always check on build plate, but I am a little concerned about this underbelly right here. I feel like it's going to need supports and tree supports are not gonna make it from outside the model. I might have to uncheck on build plate only, turn things down just a little bit more. I'm going to use tree slim and press slice. Underneath this belly area, that's my concern, right? Right there, this. We are looking at a two hour and 38 minute single color print. I am going to send this off to a P1S and we will send Mr. Snowman off to a P2S. Also, did I mention? She's also going to be blue. Pretty darn cool. And there we have it. I've created a 3D print from a photo of a 3D object and a really awesome Christmas duck from nothing but a single prompt. Hytem 3D was kind enough to support this channel by sponsoring this video. They demanded absolutely nothing. All they asked was I make a video and demonstrate their newest version. Thank them and help me by clicking the link in the description and testing out their service for yourself. Take a photo of something special and convert it to a 3D model. Enter the Christmas contest. Make a scary Christmas monster. If you do it, mention me in your description and I definitely want to see it. I'm Mr. Greg.
and you're on 3D Rundown. Oh, happy you asked. Sharpie no bleed markers. Link in bio.